much anticipated beauty faves video that I've been talking about for months and months and months and I'm finally sitting down to do. Um, it just seemed like a lot of work, I guess. You know, it's not really impromptu to gather up the things from their living spaces in my bathroom and setting them aside to be able to do a video. But finally, here we are. So, um, before I dive right in, my name is Jen. If you're new here, this is an introverted lifestyle channel. I do beauty hauls, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, not really Ulta anymore. And you can check out my video of Ulta and laser ship for why. Um, Sephora, uh, Dollar Tree, crafting videos, book reviews, anything that I would consider, like, introverted, uh, is basically what you'll find on this channel. So if that's you too, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and stick around. So let's get started with, I guess, makeup first. Um, so I don't have a product for everything that I'm featuring here, but these are some of the things that are my favorites that I come back to time and time again and that I regularly use. So for mascara, my all-time favorite is IT Superhero. Um, it provides uh, thickening and lengthening and it doesn't irritate my eyes and it comes off easily uh, with the facial wash which I'll share with you in a little bit and that you may have seen in the thumbnail for this video this is by far my absolute favorite mascara a close second and what I've been using a lot lately is this Ico rock out and lash out mascara and beatnik black this is one that I got a trial size I think in my ipsy and I really, really loved it. It has a really cool, like, guitar-shaped brush. The brush on the IT Cosmetic Superhero is kind of like a tapered one that's, like, fluffy. And this is actually, this is what I'm currently using. So this is actually a, um, wait, I always get wrong. This, wrong. this is actually, like, a guitar-shaped brush. And I really like this mascara, and the tube is really unique as well. For eyebrows, I am a longtime user of the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. Um, I always buy the travel size because I don't go through my makeup fast. Like, as you can tell, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I really wear, like, a natural face 95% of the time. But this comes in taupe, um, and it is just, it's straight up eyebrow pencil, and then it's got a spoolie on the other side and I really love this one um, I've been using it for a long time it does come in a larger size this is a travel size it's like 12 bucks a full size is like 24 um, this is something else that I like and I can't find the exact one that I had been using but this is Tarte Cosmetics sketch and set it's an eyebrow pencil so and it's an eyebrow gel so this is Tarte Cosmetics sketch and set and on this side is the pencil. I believe I have it in um, dark brown or medium brown. Let's see, medium brown. It says right there, medium brown. And then this side is a like tinted gel. So I've been using this one a lot when I want like a fuller look today. I just have on um, this Ico mascara and this it cosmetics brow pencil so um, just kept it simple so those are my go-to makeups uh, I also love which I didn't grab I am been using for years bare minerals um, complexion rescue tinted gel uh, foundation is actually I don't call, think they call it a foundation I think they either call it like a BB cream or something that's my absolute favorite I am a vanilla color in fall winter and I am the tan color in summer and then in transitionary times I blend the two together I love it it's light coverage so if you're someone who doesn't need full coverage it lets my freckles show through um, and I just really like that and I do use the bare minerals um, translucent mineral veil and I've been using that for years as well as my powder and I very rarely use anything else um, sometimes I use bronzer in winter Sometimes I use blush, but I lean towards rosacea, so sometimes that looks like I have too much flush going on. Um, but those are my tried and true that I always use. For body, um, when I am in the shower, 
I love this scrub. This is actually right out of my shower, so I did wipe it off before. But this is 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration cream sugar scrub with coconut milk and acacia Senegal to exfoliate, soften, and nourish skin. I love this. It is lightly scented as coconut. Uh, it's just like a great texture and it's really moisturizing and I just really like it. Um, great to use before or after shaving. Once out of the shower, I am a big fan of Cora's body lotions. This just happens to be the one I'm currently using. You can get these giant sizes one to two times a year on QVC in a kit. They do like a super size kit for like 40 bucks. Uh, that's one of these lotions. It's usually got like something else. It's got two body shower gels and then there's usually one or two other products. And this is 13.53 fluid ounces for deep hydration and crepe smoothing. This scent is coconut guava. So Chorus is not like Bath and Body Works in your face type of fragrance. It's like a, um, a subtle, gentle fragrance. Uh, this is formulated by women. It's a clean formula, uh, pharma grade purified water. It's made in Greece, apothecary born, recycled packaging, eco-friendly, supports organic farmer families. Um, it has a last to smooth technology and it is body butter, 96.7% natural origin content. And I love, I just love their products. I like the way they make my skin feel and it feels very luxurious. So this is Cora's. And I typically get it, like I said, from HSN. I don't know where else you can buy it, probably their website, but outside of that, I, it's not like I walk into Ulta or Sephora or something and see it anywhere. Um, another product I love is this, and I've been using it for years. It's by Philosophy. It's the Purity Made Simple Facial Cleanser. Facial cleanser. It has a light fragrance. I know sometimes some purity stuff can be pretty fragrance. This is light and it's kind of reminds me of lemony, but that's just how my nose smells smells it. And um, I just love using it. It lathers nice. I do use a lot of facial wipes, um, you know, because I don't wear a lot of makeup. But this you can use on your eyes directly, and it doesn't irritate your eyes when you're taking off mascara, eyebrow pencil, eyeshadow. Um, this deep cleans pores and eliminates makeup buildup, hydrates as it melts away makeup, contains deep cleansing agents, natural oil extracts help condition skin, it's fragrance free, so whatever the lemony scent I'm getting must just be something naturally in it. And it's a proprietary blend of extracts for a unique, fresh scent. Um, let me see if it says anything else on here. It doesn't really say anything else, but it's it's lovely like I I love it I've been using it for years now I know that they have different iterations of it as well now this is a really big bottle this will last me like probably past the expiration it'll probably last me like two years um, because a little goes a long way and I'm just not heavy-handed with the makeup I was watching a youtuber who said she um, goes through foundation like monthly or something and it, I buy foundation once a year I have to buy the tan and once a year I have to buy the vanilla color of the foundation I use so I don't know how people are using that much makeup but like you can tell I don't wear a lot of makeup like this is pretty much how I look all the time with or without makeup um, some other things I like is my favorite shave cream please don't go and buy it because sometimes it's hard to find I've taken to buying it from their website is Evolution of Smooth, but this version. So this is for dry skin. It's coconut oil, so it smells coconutty. Um, it's a shave butter shave cream with 24 hour moisture. It's super emollient. It's like $4.99 on their website. If you spend $15, you get free shipping. So I usually buy four at a time. So it's dermatologist tested in hypoallergenic, 24 hour hydration, not tested on animals, paraben and phthalate three. Phthalate free, I don't know why I said three, but it's to me comparable to like all those creams, like um, I can't even think of what it's called. They're like really popular right now, and the one is like white packaging, it comes in mango or lavender, and um, they're not like you don't need water for them to work, if that makes any sense. Uh, so this moisturizes and protects, and it helps eliminate nicks, cuts, irritation, razor burn. Uh, you can shave wet or dry, and I just love it. They have a couple variations of this kind, but I like the dry skin. 
Um, there's one that has mango in it as well, like mango butter, but this one is my favorite. Um, let's see, more shower stuff is right now. This is my second time buying this and I'm loving it, especially for wavy hair. Uh, this is Lazy Jane by Eva NYC. It's their air dry shampoo and conditioner powered by hemp seed oil and sea lavender. No phthalates, parabens, or phthalates, sulfates, parabens, phthalates. It texturizes tassels and adds body. It smells like lavender. It smells amazing. It's really creamy. Um, I typically, like usually I like to wash my hair at night. I didn't do that today. I just washed it a little bit ago. But I usually like to wash it at night and then use this and then put my hair up in a bun, like a loose bun, and sleep on it. And it just makes for nice waves and I just am really about this so I don't really air dry sometimes I do in summer I tend to at least dry my roots for volume later um but this this is amazing I I love this and I plan on continuing to buy it whenever I want my hair to be curly or wavy I also have for hair um clearly I don't really do my hair straight very often this is Eva NYC Gotta Bounce Curl Defining Cream powered by Aloe Leaf, Cactus Flower, no sulfates, no parabens, and no phthalates. Uh, defines curls, tames frizz, and moisturizes. Um, no mineral oils in here either. Uh, I just really like this product. It's not heavily scented and I've taken to really enjoying the creams for my waves as opposed to gels. So this one, um, this is my second or third time buying this and I am, I really enjoy it. So um, right now, I'm kind of not sold on a particular mousse. I am using the Eva NYC mousse, but I believe I have a different one. Um, I don't remember what brand, but I have a different one that I'm gonna try when that one runs out. So, but I apply that just like hair shaft down and I do mousse on my roots typically. Uh, I flip my head over and I scrunch up is how I do my hair. My hair is really long right now. I'm thinking of cutting it soon. Um, just to, I feel like you have to cut your hair to grow your hair. So, uh, let's see what else. This, speaking of hair, is a new fave. This Playa Endless Summer Spray. So I had bought a sample or either I bought a sample or I got it in a beauty box. I can't recall. Um, this creates soft and tousled texture. Southern California sea salt and beta carotene. And I just really like the texture of my hair with this. I was using that TGIN rose water last winter, which I also enjoy. Um, I do like a salt spray in summer just for more texture uh, in my hair and to tame it a little bit because I'm really susceptible to humidity and it's been so humid where I live. It's really humid even today, even though it's like 75, it feels so much warmer because it's like 70% humidity. Um, but this is made with sea salt harvested in Southern California and gives hair the perfectly tousled texture you usually only get after a day at the beach. Has marine collagen complex that nourishes strands without drying. Natural UV filters shield hair and scalp from harmful rays. Hair is protected and looks effortlessly done. So I typically spray this on my wet hair and then after I sleep on it or after my hair is dry like now, I'll probably add more um, to it. Then I that's how I use this particular product. Uh, it's not really fragrant. I do have this like one that play playa that's in a pink container that is like a powdery scent, which doesn't bother me, but some people on the reviews for that, which maybe it's why it was discounted when I bought it. Um, that is like a revitalizing refresh your hairstyle kind of product. And a lot of people did not like they either loved the powdery finish or they hated it. So, but this, I love this endless summer spray, not really fragrant. Then, my all-time favorite fragrance right now, like 110%, is this Brazilian Crush Cheeriosa 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel from um, Sol de Janeiro. I took French, not Spanish, so sorry if I butchered any words. Uh, but I love this. The perfume is like $80, so I settled for the body spray. Uh, this... Is just like this great warm sultry summery scent and I love it so much so it lists the top notes as pistachio and almond with mid notes of heliotrope and jasmine petals and the dry base is vanilla salted caramel and sandalwood I love a heady scent I love food scents but not like too foody this smells like the best like body 
oil <laughs> like ever which I know isn't a thing but when I was growing up that was still a thing um and it just reminds me of the beach and summer and vacation and it's it's amazing and I love it so much so I had to include this uh this is a recent find I love the body wash I love the bum bum cream I love the spray I love it all so this is a personal fave I have a couple more things here these are um one is a newer fave and the other is a tried and true so I've been recently using some Kiehl's products and this Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I have gotten like a sample somewhere, probably like at Sephora on checkout. And I've been started using it and then I bought some more to like try like sample sizes. And finally on a sale at Kiehl's website, I bought the 1.0 fluid ounces. A little goes a long way. Um, I use this kind of like a moisturizer. It's actually more, I think supposed to be like in the serum, like before moisturizer application. Um, this is a replenishing elixir, elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. You use it at night and I just really like the way it makes my skin feel. It's like a dry finish to the oil. Um, I mean, it doesn't make you feel like slippery and sticky and I really like the smell. I think it has like evening primrose or something in it. Um, the bottle itself doesn't list like all the ingredients. It's probably, it was probably like on the box. But this is a personal fave. There's also like face wash and some other products in this line. But I particularly like this. And last but not least is um, Pura Dior 100% Pure Cold Pressed Organic Argan Oil. Now I like to dabble. You follow this channel. I like to dabble with my Ipsy you know, moisturizers and different lotions and things like that. I have some Cora's face butters. I have some Kiehl's face butters like in their road line that I found at, you know, TJ Maxx or Marshall's in the beauty department. But my tried and true, if I'm looking to keep it simple, is this organic argan oil. So originally I was on the Josie Moran train with that. Her products are lovely. They're also really expensive. You can find this on Amazon. They actually make hair products now and a whole bunch of other things and I just like it. It's simple um, and it seems counterintuitive that if you have oily skin, which I have like combination skin, but in the, in the summer I lean just oily, but in winter it's more combination. Um, it seems counterintuitive, but it's really not. Like it actually helps. I feel like, gosh, I can't tell you how long I've been using this. Let's see probably seven or eight years, six or seven years. I've been using argan oil for a long time. Um, this is probably like my fifth or sixth bottle of this. A little goes a long way. This is four fluid ounces and I just really enjoy the way it makes my skin feel. It's not particularly nutty or anything like that in fragrance. Argan oils, argan is a nut if you don't know and it comes off of a tree um, from Morocco. And it just, I don't know, it just, I feel like it helps keep my skin healthy. I feel like it helps me look younger. And if I had to say, like, what's my beauty secret, I would probably say this. If you don't know, I'm 39 and a half. I'll be 40 in the spring. Um, so, you know, I'm not super young. I'm reaching midlife. And I like to think I look young. Like, I don't really get carded anymore. And I don't know if that's because I look older or if it's because you know when you're older and you don't care about like you don't think you're getting in trouble you just order whatever um but also like I know I look I don't look 21 clearly but even if I looked 30 that's still nearly a decade younger than I am so I'll take it uh but this is my like tried and true if I put anything on like I put I, at night if I'm really tired it's a face wipe and then this and that's it. So this is one of my go-to products for quite a while now. Um, so those are some of my beauty favorites. Uh, I try to pick the things that I'm going to use nearly every day or very regularly that um, I really love. Most, actually all of these brands are brands that I really love as well, not just the products. Um, and I have other products from a lot of these brands as well that I enjoy. And these are just some of the things that I like to have in my beauty routine for my hair and, um, you know, my makeup and my skincare. 
So maybe I'm more available and some of these stuff are high-end luxury, so it's a variety of price ranges as well. Um, and that's all I have for you today. So I put off this video for a really long time and it wasn't that bad and it looks like it might just be over 20 minutes long um, because my video like stops and then starts again after 20 minutes and it's only a few seconds into I think a second reel. So let me know if you love any of these products too or if there's one that you want to check out in the comments below. And in the meanwhile, stay introverted. Bye!